Hi, I'm Scott Coleman. I'm Director of Product Management here at Owl Cyber Defense. We've got a brand new video series I want to introduce called the Owl Advantage. We're going to walk you through the competitive advantages and feature benefits of a data diode over competitive products and things like firewalls. But before we get into that actual series, I want to introduce the concept of a data diode and how it works so you have that backdrop. So a data diode is actually broken into two halves. If you think about a source side, send side. The source side would be on your protected side and the receiving side where the destination is on the unprotected. So that would be the internet and this could be your protected power plant. A diode is actually comprised of two halves that I just mentioned. One has an LED that sends light across the fiber optic cable to, to the destination side. The destination side is a photoreceiver to receive that light or the data that's coming over the fiber optic channel. Destination side does not have an LED to shine light backwards, and the source side, or the, the protective side, does not have a photoreceiver to see light. So in essence, you can only send light in one direction, which means it's completely unhackable. You can't get through a diode backwards because the components don't exist to do that. So what's the example? The example is, I've got a power generation plant, and I've got turbines in there generating electricity, and I've got information that needs to get out of the plant. So that could be information about the turbines themselves, uh, what my power production levels are at, etc. Uh, information about maintenance of those systems, etc. And all that information needs to get out to third parties. Maybe it's going to HQ, maybe it's going to the vendors that support my turbines, maybe it's going to the grid operators to understand what, how much we're generating, etc. But all that data can move across the diode, but physically block any intruders that want to come back in. So it makes it completely unhappy. So that's a high-level overview of the data diodes. It uses physics, it uses components to block people from coming in while allowing all kinds of data to be transferred out of the plant. So next time we're actually going to look at our piece of hardware. This is our small, compact, one new data diode solution capable of moving up to a gig of data. We'll look at the features, the functions, and how what I've described on the whiteboard actually exists in real life.